Okay, so the last part of this series is personal grooming. This is something that's not really talked about in a lot of EDC videos and posts, but something that I take seriously and something that I like to share with you guys. So here are one of my favorite products. This is called Badger Balm. Um, it's a all organic, all natural, organic, or, um, hand cream, hand kind of balm. Um, it's olive oil based, so um, it just soaks in really nice and you just need a little dollop and you just rub it on and it's and it's great all day. I use it on and off all day and um, it doesn't leave an oily residue, it doesn't stick, it doesn't do anything. I mean, it's absolutely great. So I really enjoy it. You can tell this tin's kind of been through a lot, um, but highly recommend it this is kind of their one ounce and this is kind of their larger three ounce size i just like this one for my everyday carry stuff just because it's a little bit smaller and i can throw it in my pocket but if you have something like a like a pouch or a maxpedition edc bag or something you, you know by all means grab the big one um i just kind of like this little size so um to kind of slip in my pocket but badger balm certified organic um it's called badger balm for hard working hands um and it, it really is i mean i do a lot of carpentry work and stuff and and just touching the wood and stuff will dry your hands right out and this just fixes it right back up so definitely recommend badger balm give them a shout check them out um, next one of my all-time favorite products this is the capitalist beard comb and bottle opener from hudson design and manufacturing Made from solid stainless steel, features a great belt clip, nice and tight, and is just great for my goatee. Uh, funny story, uh, my fiance was giving me crap about having stuff in my goatee one day, and she's like, you just need a beard comb or something. And I was like, all right. So I went out and I found this one um, from Hudson, and uh, I got it, and she was like, I was thinking like some 50 cents something. And I was like, no, no, no. So this is, this is more like it. This is a man's beard comb for a man's beard, for a man's goatee. I highly recommend it. Um, you can rotate this um belt clip from side from one side to the other you can't go this way but you can definitely go this way um, depending on if you want teeth uh right or teeth left um, i like my teeth going this way and it kind of sits in my back pocket about like that so but it's absolutely awesome um really have never had any issue with it i've opened many a cold brews with it um, and it just works every single time check them out hudson design and manufacturing they make fantastic products with just a great buying experience um, each one comes serial numbered you get a nice little plaque magnetic placard with it it comes in a nice uh, burlap bag and you know it really pays attention to detail and it, it's a fantastic product um, last but definitely not least, uh, we'll go into one of my favorite uh, everyday carry accessories, which are handkerchiefs. I have a little sample here from four different makers, and um, let's kind of walk through them a little bit. This is one from Alienated USA. I'll include a link to the description below. Roughly 10 by 10. Um, this is his tattoo print and has some awesome decorative stitching across it and around the edges, which I, I love. And you can kind of see some nice little edge work and detail work here. And he did a different thread for the top and bottom. So the black background print has kind of that canvas, um, kind of that canvasy orange, almost Carhartt color thread. And then the top has the black thread to kind of contrast with it. So great handkerchief um love using it love carrying a handkerchief with me all day um, from wiping my nose to wiping my forehead um even wiping up surfaces and stuff it's, it's fantastic the next one this is from cranky hankies um she makes fantastic handkerchiefs i love the way she paid attention to her edge detail and just the way she stitches the label in kind of that nice tight zigzag and here it kind of features this corn maze uh, print and then just a nice solid orange back on the back uh, again roughly 10 by 10 and um, just nice solid durable cotton great handkerchief next we got one from rhino rags this one's a little bit larger I think it clocks in about 11 by 11 maybe even 12 by 12 um, kind of a Halloween uh, Dia de los Muertos design and then a nice black paisley and I believe this is called a turkey foot stitch um, but a contrasting stitch all the way around uh, which is which is great. It kind of holds all the edges and you don't have to worry about it coming undone and last 
we have one from Frank's Hanks. This is again 10 by 10. Um, I believe this is the Archer handkerchief and it features kind of this cool like red, white, and blue feather print with a um, teal background, the X stitching across the center to hold the two pieces together, a nice durable flannel on the other side, and then an awesome chevron stitch around the corner just to kind of hold it all in. Little quick logo, and then this is a nice little eyelet which you could attach a lanyard, a keychain, or other trinket to if you choose to. Um, you could also use it as like a hanging mechanism um, in the case of an emergency if it had like a red or a um, orange back on it if you wanted. But again, great handkerchief. Um, I definitely would recommend carrying a handkerchief all day. Once you start, you'll definitely be surprised by how much you use it. My first one I got was a Christmas gift from my mother in law, and I haven't stopped carrying one in my pocket sense so um, definitely great give them a shout out I'll include links to everything in the descriptions below but in the meantime that kind of concludes this setup and kind of concludes this walkthrough thank you guys so much for watching and I really appreciate it and y'all stay tuned for more EDC gear videos and reviews in this playlist